Hello, it's me, and uh, today I have uh, a special puzzle to solve with you. That is uh, the Spartacus. This is the top, uh, highest uh, um, Bauhinia version. Uh, that is a, a really cool puzzle because this one here is a, a um, an hybrid puzzle between this puzzle here, that is a Bauhinia 2. It is a puzzle that uh, has these centers uh, that are uh, new pieces uh, from a regular Bauhinia and a uh, um, pent ultimate. So joining uh, the two puzzles, those two puzzles, you could have uh, a puzzle like this. That is a, a Spartacus, a really cool puzzle to solve. I can't wait to scramble a puzzle like this. So in, my goal today is to solve uh, this puzzle uh, with you, with a solving video. I'll show you uh, some details about the resolution of this puzzle. I know that I could have uh, um, some strange parities. Uh, for example, for uh, um, when I try to reduce uh, these uh, edges, I could have the parity with the two of them that needs to be swapped. And this is an important parity that I have to check before to uh, complete all the edges. And then I could have a parity uh, with uh, the corners, with these uh, uh, apparently corners, but they are centers. In fact, if I rotate the face, these are my center of my face. So, now I want to start to scramble up uh, a Spartacus and then you will see with me how I complete a puzzle like this. Here we go. So, this is now my Spartacus full scrambled. Wow, this puzzle could scare a lot of people. So now, how to start with a puzzle like this? I have to um, uh, reduce this puzzle in a dodecahedron, dodecahedron shape. So my first rotation that I have to apply is a pentultimate rotation in this way. Okay. Now I have uh, a lot of faces uh, that uh, has this mid rotation, this mid rotation like this, that could be done in this side. Then I have this, oh, this is locked because I have this piece. So how to make free this part? Only rotating it in this side. Yes, then exchanging it with this, then exchanging this one here. So this is flat. And now this could rotate in this way here. Okay, so now I have only to place back all these parts. Now is the really difficult part because now I have to uh, understand how to place these pieces in. So, for example, if I have a possibility, so you have only this shoe. Okay, this will be flat here and this one could be flat here. Okay, so I have reduced the bandaging. And now I have again my dodecahedron. First step completed. Now I have to reduce, I have to pair all these parts together. So here we go. I'm gonna start with this uh, uh, orange, and the, uh, orange and pink. So I'm gonna find another one that is here. And so this piece will be here. So this piece is upside down. How to rotate this piece upside down? I have to rotate it all around this uh, pentagon. So doing one, two, three, four, and finally five. And now this edge is flipped upside down. And now, as you can see, I could pair this orange and pink to this. First piece that is placed. Now we have to place other parts and then I have to put them all around this uh, pentagon here. So 
So, uh, when you have this case here, when you have to place this piece near to this, without to destroy all these edges that we have composed, you have to use this uh, simple algorithm. You have to put this piece in position, like so, and then you have to exchange all this edge with this edge that is not reduced. So doing a up, up, down, down algorithm, I have exchanged now that edge that I've completed, uh, that is this, with this. And now I am free to turn back my rotation that I have applied. So these edges will be safe again. So this is my strategy. So I want to continue again. Okay. So this is uh, uh, now the, the last uh, free cycle that I have to apply because this uh, purple and pink will be here. Then this uh, uh, white and pink then will be here because uh, when I change this edge with this, as you can see, is, as you will see, uh, these uh, three edges will be solved. So placing this piece in this side. And, uh, and so no, I have to change because I have to place this piece in this side. But this one needs to be rotated to apply the algorithm. So to rotate this piece, I have to rotate it all around this face, this side. And now yes, so this piece will be here and we'll pair this, then exchanging this edge with this, this piece will be in the correct position. So do this rotation. And now exchanging this edge with this, doing a down, down, up, up algorithm. Now this edge is here and when I turn back, as you can see, this edge is completed and this edge is also completed. So as you can see, all the edges are now paired. This first step is uh, completed. So now it's time to place uh, all my pieces uh, uh, in, so all the edges in position, only to check if I have a strange parity with the two of this uh, edge that, need, that needs to be swapped. Because uh, uh, um, for the moment it's really important to, to uh, swap these two pieces in this moment, because uh, then uh, if I have placed all these parts also in, I'll uh, uh, scramble again the parts. So for the moment it's really important to check this parity. So here we go. So when I place all the oranges, so I see that this uh, is an orange blue. So here I need a uh, orange and uh, pink in this side. So we want to find an orange and pink that is here. And I want to place it in here. Okay. So we have now the last five pieces to place. All the rest is sold. So, 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 I have this piece that could go here. This uh, purple and uh, yellow. So doing that down, down, up, up algorithm, it will be here. This one is here, but needs to be rotated. Let's see if I can place more pieces in, for example, this one, this yellow, but needs to be rotated. I'll to rotate this piece. I could place, or I could make uh, all the rotations, so doing one, two, and in this side, doing a down, down, half up, so doing a down, down, up and then turning back all the rotation that I've moved so is one and two. I have this piece, this piece in and this shoe. 
that needs only to be uh, rotated. So I don't have the parity that I'm talking about. The parity that I'm talking about um, was when uh, we have two of these uh, edges that need to be swapped. But you have seen with the, the rec, my RexMed tutorial that you can solve that parity exchanging uh, this uh, piece that needs to be swapped in this side and this in this side uh, always uh, in a, a pentultimate rotation. So placing this piece, for example, in this side and then exchanging an half turning that edge upside down, exchanging it uh, uh, with a, um, an up, up, down, down between these three pieces and then uh, uh, turning this piece that uh, from this position it will be here that will be composed by an half so for example if I place that piece that, is, that needs to be uh, swapped with this uh, in this side where I can apply my pentultimate rotation no? so doing this pentultimate rotation um, I could have uh, an half of this piece uh, composed by one, mm, one piece of before and a piece that was here so uh, flipping this edge uh, upside down placing it uh, for example with a up up down down so exchanging this piece with this uh, and then rotating that part all around this pentagon and then placing again in here when I turn back it that piece uh, I'll have uh, uh, these two edges that will be composed by uh, an half one for each other then you have to exchange the right position in that side so for example uh, if you need to place uh, um, the blue that was here in this side where it is correct you have to place it uh, uh, in here with the, uh, the exchanging of an half of the, the uh, uh, yellow and the blue then flipping again that part in this side and rotating it all around this pentagon and placing it again in when it turn back all these pieces will be solved but you have seen this kind of uh, parity uh, with, with my RexPet tutorial so now I don't have uh, any problem so I can continue with the resolution of my uh, edges how to solve the edges uh, completely? I have to solve the edges in this way, as in this, uh, with this edge here, with all these parts joined together. But how to do that? I have a special algorithm that I have invented, that you have seen with my RexPay tutorial, that can uh, uh, permit me to exchange the piece that was here, here, the piece that was here, here, and this piece that was here, here. So now I have to find now only a better way to place the pieces in. So for example, I want to complete this yellow and green, dark green. So I need in this side a yellow piece. A yellow piece that I see here. But it needs to be rotated because I need the yellow in this side. So how to rotate this edge, I have only to rotate it all around this pentagon. So do one, two, three, four, and five. So it will be rotated. So this yellow piece will exchange this uh, gray. So I need in this side now a gray. And we'll see if I have a gray with uh, a pink. It will be the best. So gray, gray, gray gray and pink you have it but uh, probably no so the nearest piece is, is this and I want to place it there so you have the yellow in a yellow the gray in gray and this purple that would be here so how to apply now my algorithm? I have to do. So this piece will be here for first and not here where is the piece that I want to place. So I have to do down with a pentultimate and up with this pentultimate. Now I have to do a counterclockwise rotation of this face here. So counterclockwise. Then again down with this side and now up with this side to turn back. Then I have to do up with this side and clockwise to turn back and down. Now what I have to do is only a half rotation of this side. So doing a half rotation. Then the same thing. I have to apply this algorithm for three times. So doing down, so you can see the yellow per the yellow, down, then up. 
then counterclockwise then again down up to turn back and now up clockwise down and down this way this edge is reduced down now uh, counterclockwise rotation fi with this side and now for the first time for the third time i have to do down up counterclockwise down up then up clockwise and down and now as you can see all the edges will be again in and these pieces uh, are now in so these edges are completely re reduced and these pieces seem be reduced so i want to continue with this Two or three. I want to see. I have this that needs to be solved, and this that needs to be solved. So maybe they are the last two. So we need to place this piece in this side, but needs to be rotated upside down. it all around this pentagon this side so the green will be here so I need in this side a white piece that I have here so it needs to be rotated this side so you have the green here the white here and this white again here so do it. down up counterclockwise down up up clockwise down half rotation then again down up counterclockwise down up up, clockwise down, and five rotation, five rotation, and then again doing down, up, and the clockwise down, up, up, clockwise down. As you can see now. All my hedges are now solved, and I, I know that now I don't have any parity with them. So I could continue with the resolution of these parts here. So now I have uh, all the edges reduced, and my next goal will be to solve uh, these two parts, that this tiny part um, near to a large part. To do that, I have a simple algorithm to use. So, for example, I have, uh, I have uh, uh, this uh, green, this large green, that uh, can enter in this tiny part doing this pentultimate rotation. But I need, uh, in this side, a tiny uh, white to place here. So, now I have to find a tiny white to place in this position. So, I have this piece here. that uh, I have to in this way in this way in this way so I have only uh, placed this white piece here without to destroy this so placing this green in this side I'll exchange this white in this position now exchanging doing a up up down down algorithm between these three pieces I could change this green with this white to so doing a 
Hap. Hap. Down, down. Algorithm. And now I have this white here. So I have to turn now back this pentultimate rotation that I moved before. And now also this white is completed. So this is my goal. I want to continue in this way to solve all these parts. So this is now my last free cycle to apply. Because this yellow needs to go here, but it needs to place in this position a light green, little light green. That is this. So I could place it in, rotating it in this side. So I have this yellow that can go here, this green that will change then with this green, and then this uh, light uh, uh, purple that will be solved. So doing down in this side, then doing up, up. Down, down, and then turning back, the green will pair the green, and this piece will be also soft, like the yellow piece. So I believe that all the parts are in, and I can see, yes, yes, okay. So I have reduced all the petals. So after the resolution of the petals, now I have in my hand a radiolarian free the decahedron full scrambled. So my first thing that I need to do, because I have all these petals reduced, all these edges reduced, so I have the same puzzle of this. So uh, how to start with this puzzle here is only to, um, up, to place all the edges uh, in. So I want to start to place all the orange face in. So I see this corner that this piece is a, a, um, a gray piece. So this piece needs to be placed here, but it's upside down. So I have to rotate it all around this side. Okay, so I know that this piece, this piece is now in correctly. And now I have to follow another part. So I see this uh, orange corner that is a gray and a pink. So this piece will be pink. That is this one. Then I want to place in this side, looking the corner, uh, another uh, uh, orange, pink, and blue. So this is a blue, uh, orange and blue. That I have to find where is it? This here. And in this side is correct. And finally, this piece needs to go here for sure. This last orange. Over here and here. So it needs to be placed in the opposite down in the upside down way. So doing a down down up up between these three edges. So doing a down down. Up, up. I have these uh, five pieces uh, placed. So I want to continue along with all this part. So as you can see, now I have uh, this shoe to rotate. To, to do that, uh, uh, I have to um, exchange the pieces before to place them back. So, for example, with this side, down, down, up, and up. Now, placing this piece in this side here, so from this position, it will be here. Now, rotating with one and two rotation. And now, placing back this piece here. So doing that down, down, up, up, this way. And now 
turning back all this rotation that I've applied, so this one back here and this one back here, as you can see, all the edges will be solved. This first step is done, but uh, um, now I have to check for sure my parity with the corners, with the, these uh, uh, centers that are apparently corners. So how to place uh, uh, the corners uh, in this puzzle here? I have to see, for example, um, the orange corners. I have this corner here that needs to be placed in this side. So I have to do a perfect condition because in this side it will be rotated uh, with a counterclockwise rotation. So doing the counterclockwise rotation of this piece only of this corner, then placing it here, oh, so it's a, a clockwise rotation, and then placing it here, as you can see it will be um, done, it is correct. Then exchanging this corner with this corner here, so doing a down, down, up, up, and then placing uh, back my rotation and finally my rotation in this way I have now the possibility to place back this piece only doing uh, with this side here down down up up in conclusion it will be in here so I wanna do the same thing for all these five corners. So So now here we have uh, this case here with the two of these pieces uh, that needs to be rotated. So now I want to see if I can exchange them. So for example, doing a up, up, down, down. And now I have to see how can I rotate this piece to place it here. Yes. I wanna rotate this. So how it needs to be rotated with this no but in this side here it will be placed correctly. Now placing it here I have to find a way to place no I could exchange so placing it here I could exchange this piece with this piece here. So doing this kind of rotation as a setup and then exchanging this piece with this doing a up up down down this way now turning back this rotation that I applied in this side then this in this side okay so the pieces are back and now placing back these three so doing a up up down down wow as you can see i don't have any parity with the corners i'm really really lucky if i uh, have a um if i ever received a parity with this uh, puzzle with only one uh, corner that is twist uh, I, I have to rotate that corner directly. So for example, if this white was here, and this uh, red here, and this purple here, I have to rotate that part, uh, placing uh, uh, correctly that uh, corner, that center. And in, in the base of this uh, rotation, you have to, um, to place the rest of these edges in relation of this corner that is placed correctly. So this is the goal to solve that parity. So in my case I don't have any parity, so I can continue uh, with the resolution of my uh, puzzle. 
So now I have checked that I don't have any parity with these centers, so I can continue uh, to place all these parts here. So I want to complete my orange face placing all these parts. I know that uh, uh, placing these parts uh, I'll scramble again these centers, but for, for the moment it's not important because the centers will be the last piece that I have to place. So for the moment to place for example this uh, orange in here, I could use a down down up up between these three um, petals. So for example doing a up with this side, then up with this side, then down, and then down again, this way, I have placed this piece in here. Then I see that this orange can go here, placing again a down, with a down, down, up, up, Albert. Then I have to see this, that could go here. So rotating it in this side. <clears throat> I want to find the best way. So for example, this piece needs to go in this side. So if I place this orange in this way, so this orange will be here, this green here and this one here. So doing up, up, down, down, and then turning back. Now we have to place only the last orange. Let's see how to place this orange here. So this piece will go here. So this is my orbit. In this way. In this way. So to place this orange here, I have to do a up. Up down, down, and now I can turn back all the pieces that I have rotated. Ok, so this orange face is done. So now I can continue with all these faces, for example this, this piece that can go here, So now I have the last three faces to complete. It, to complete. So I have this red that can go here. Doing a down, down, up, up. And then, then, then I have this red that can go here. But I need in this side another piece like this. So now I can apply my algorithm. But if I apply the algorithm in this side, so doing that, up, up, down, down, I have also this white that is in. So this one can turn back and this one can be turned back. Now I have this yellow that can go here or this red here. I'm going to place this red here. But I need to place in this side now another piece. like this but I can't but if I rotate this puzzle in this side yes I can place this one here so doing down down up up and now we have to remember to turn back this piece in this side this piece in this side okay and now we have only to place these uh, parts here this white that I want to see. So this white could go here, yes, doing up, down, down, up, up, and it is in. Now we have another white to place here. So if I place this yellow 
in this side here. So you have to remember to, to turn back. I have to remember to rotate this face in this side. In this side, yes. Then this face in this side. Okay, so you can remember. Now, doing the first algorithm. So doing a down, down, up, up. Okay, now rotating uh, this one here and turning back with my white piece with down, down, up, up, and then turning back again. Okay, I have placed this white in. Now we have to remember to turn back this piece in this side, and this piece in this side, and this piece in this side, and this one that is uh, really easy in this side. Okay, so you have the last two pieces to place. So you have this yellow that can go here, but I need a red in this side. How to place it there? Only rotating this way, in this way, this piece, and then in this way. Perfect. So now I could place this red here, this yellow here, and this yellow again here that is a yellow. So doing a down, down, up, and up. Okay, so all my pieces will be placed. Okay, so this step is done. Now it's time to place uh, the corners uh, that are these parts. These parts are corners. These are centers. So for the corners, uh, I have a, a simple algorithm to apply, but I have to see which one is better to place. So I'm going to start with my orange. So I have an algorithm that will change this piece with this, this with this, and this with this. So placing this orange here, I need to place in this side a, a light pur purple that I have here. Okay, so doing the algorithm in this way, this shoe will be solved. The algorithm to apply is this one. I have to do R. This is my R. This one here. This is my U. And this is my L. Okay, so the algorithm to apply is this one here. I have to do R UI. L I U R I U I L and U. As you can see, this orange is in and this uh, light purple is in. And I can turn back the setup moves that I have uh, done. Now, placing the first, I have to, uh, to complete uh, all these parts. So now the first half is done with all these uh, uh, these corners. So I have now only to place the last three uh, corners. So I have. So if I apply the algorithm in this way, this piece will be here, this here, and this here. So applying uh, twice this algorithm. Uh, all these pieces will be correct. So doing for the first time R U uh, UI L I U R I U I L and U. And now doing again, this yellow will be here, this red here, and this uh, dark green here. As you can see, all my corners will be solved. This is a really uh, quick step. So now, after the resolution of the corners, it is really easy. I have now to place uh, the um, all these pieces here, all around this corner. To do that, uh, I have a really long algorithm to place uh, with a clockwise rotation, this piece here, this here, and this here or with a counterclockwise rotation, this piece here, this here, and this here. 
So in my case now I have seen that with a counterclockwise rotation this grey will be here, this green here and this dark green here. How to do that? Uh, I have to do uh, with this face near to the pieces that I have to cycle uh, down for first then up, down, up. But uh, um, applying this kind of uh, movement and then doing a down, down, up, up between these three pieces, you could have a free cycle. So doing with the uh, with left side down and then continue with my down, down, up, up. Now before down, now up. And then again, down down, up, up, then again down, then down, down, up, up, and finally up, and then doing up, down, down, up, up, as you can see these pieces uh, are now cycled. Here we go, I wanna start uh, with other parts, so for example I have this green that could go here but I need in this side a blue. When you don't have the possibility to place a blue because it's the opposite side, you could rotate these two pieces that will remain in the same position in this way. So now I have uh, uh, now a possibility to place a blue here, yes, only when I rotate the face in this side. Now, the, the argument to apply is a clockwise rotation, so this piece will be here, this here, and this here. Now we have to do with the right side, down, and then with the right side, down, down, up, up, then up, down, down, up, up, and then again down, 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 up up and finally up, down, down, up, and up. So now we can turn back these pieces in this way and these pieces in this way. So now I have uh, the last free cycle to apply because I have uh, only this piece and this piece to place. The rest is solved. So how can I uh, solve this only these two pieces? So I want to find a way to place uh, um, for the first thing this shoe in position. So if I rotate this face in this way and then this face Wait a moment, so I'm placing this in this way and this in this way, yes. So I have this red that could enter here, but I need to place here again a dark green. So why not? If I rotate this face and then this face, yes. Okay, so now I have the possibility to apply my free cycle, but I have to remember to turn back with this for first. Yes, with this for first, then this. Okay, so it's a clockwise rotation, so you have to down, and then down, down, up, up, then up, down, down, up, and up, then again down, 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 up, up, and finally up, down down, up, and up. Ok, so all these parts are again in. So now we have only to turn back. So what we have to do is this kind of rotation, this blue back, then I have the white that could enter in the white, and finally these pieces here. Ok, so now as you can see, I have all these uh, parts uh, that are uh, composed, and now I have only to solve uh, the uh, centers. That will be my last step. 
Okay, so now to complete the uh, the centers, uh, I have to place uh, for for first my uh, five uh, orange centers. So I have this piece that could go here, but as you can see, it needs to be rotated. So rotating this piece in this way, and then placing it here, I could apply my algorithm to uh, to exchange this piece with this piece here. How to do that? Only doing up, down. Down, up, up. Okay, now I can exchange this corner that now is isolated with another one. So turning the piece in this side, I'll exchange that corner with this. And now placing back my pieces, so this uh, pink in pink, so doing down, down, up, and up. As you can see, this piece is now in, correctly placed, and this one can be turned back. Now, okay, so uh, now we have uh, the last three uh, centers to place. So I see that this needs to go here. And it is correct in this side, but I need to place, before to place this piece here, I need to place this piece in this position here. So if I rotate this piece in this side, And then this side, this side, finally this side, yes. So we have only to remember to rotate these pieces back. So placing this piece in this way. <coughs> and now we're changing this corner with this uh, this uh, center with this only doing that down down up up now that corner that was here is now here now replacing that part with this as you can see now it's in the same it's the same color and then turning back only doing that down down up and I want to do another up because now I have to recompose this part with this and finally all the, the corners of the, the, the centers will be solved and now also the Spartacus is finally solved wow this puzzle is really 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 amazing I want to congratulate again uh, Vladi for uh, his amazing uh, design and uh, Grigorosha for uh, uh, the print of this puzzle and uh, I, uh, I really recommend a, a puzzle like this and nothing, only for now, thanks for watching guys!